Hello and welcome to Simon Says Artwork. In this video I'm going to be drawing in my uni sketchbook and I'm going to be doing a couple of master studies just to kind of get the uh, feeling for how they create a landscape. So this is going to be a couple of landscape studies based on some classic famous paintings. So okay, let's get started. So I want to start by um, apologising for the shaky camera. I, for some reason, decided to do a handheld camera for this um, for this video, and I start off by shading the box with a light midtone, because Claude Monet's piece is more focused on uh, mark making than tone. Although the midtones are very important in this piece, and um, there is a little cameo in this video, as you'll see in a moment, um, which makes the handheld. There she is which makes the handheld element more useful. Now, there's nothing really white in this original piece, which you can see in the top left, which is why I thought if I shade in the box, it's made a start towards uh, the tone that needs to go into this study. And I learned a lot from doing this. I did just focus on uh, elements that, you know, were... The most interesting marks. Now for this, the second one, this is far more about tonal value and ensuring that the light stays light. So I used several different types of pencils to create that contrast in values. So I wanted the darks to be really dark and then the more sensitive, uh, lighter midtones to have that range between, um, mid-tones that were darker you know so in in the sky where the clouds are um not quite so heavy and then obviously you have these lovely silhouettes of ships in the distance and this silhouetted uh main focal ship in the center left of the uh painting it was um a lovely painting to study and it really taught me a lot about how to how to create interesting shape design that could describe storms and waves and just things that created a turbulence in the environment that I'd never done before. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think that I've really practiced very often since, but it is something which you can always refer back to. And it is something which is a constant application of tones in certain areas. And I do a bit of smudging, I must confess. This is not something that I like to do very often now, but at the time I think I was quite keen on having a smudge here and there. But it is uh, quite a challenging piece to a certain extent. Now, as a bonus, I thought I would uh, add this master study from a more recent piece. And I visited an exhibition with some paintings, so I thought if I took some images, some uh, photographs to study, then I'd have this um, timeline of different work from Claude Monet to J.M.W. Turner to uh, Gwyn Roberts. And this was a very nice piece. I don't do it justice in this drawing, but I don't do any of them justice really. Okay, that is the studies finished and uh, I really enjoyed doing the Claude Monet uh, piece more so than the Turner, not because I um, don't appreciate the Turner because I think it's really good with dramatic lighting, but I quite like the fact that Claude Monet has this mid-tone um, kind of dominant piece where there's not a lot of dramatic uh, lights and darks. It's more just a balance of mark making and I thought that was really interesting. So this is how they turned out and I quite quite like how they uh, how they look to be honest. It's quite interesting studies and um, yeah I'm going to use this to help me in the future to understand how to actually create this type of atmosphere and environment and obviously you can see here this has got a lot going on as far as action and drama whereas this scene is just all atmosphere just all environment and it's uh 
something really beautiful about that in my opinion but i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please uh, like the video leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you do get a notification when there's another upload and i will see you in the next video